Hey everybody, it's Lavella here. I hope y'all are having a great day. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna, we're in part, or episode three of The Wolf Among Us, obviously. And yeah, fun stuff's happening. We keep losing our temper. No, actually, we're trying to not lose our temper. But Snow White's calling us out on it. You enjoy it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna admit to that, though. So, we, uh, we found that a piece of the freaking glass is missing. And Buffkin kept trying to say something, but Snow White didn't want to hear it, so I'm going to go hear it. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. I am curious of why I didn't do anything. But he's probably You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. Look, uh, the whole mirror mm -hmm. thing... It's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Oh. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. I I like him. At first, I didn't like him because he's a monkey. I don't like monkeys. But uh, I don't know. He's cool. I'm terrified to see Planet of the Apes. I would rather not see that. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's look at all the papers. Why are you just glaring? Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to... Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident to 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass in the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Is it blue boy? Boy blue. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our writ in unit. <laughs> in our writ. It's burning up in the apartment, and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross, and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Ichabod Crane, are there any updates on, on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit, I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you, you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best. Did Crane Wayland's ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Who's Cole? Oh. Oh, oh, oh! 207, I bet. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Come on, let's keep looking. Hmm. Oh, gosh, come on. My mouse. I don't know what's wrong with it. It just it doesn't want to worry sometimes. I really need to do something about it. Oh. 
the uh, oh. <laughs> There's so many like cute moments between them, like those looks. It's just adorable. The office of business. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Bufkin, do you know what was here? The king. It's a ring, at least. Oh, the Every ring. magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin oh. overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. Well, I just. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. <laughs> tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, mm. this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but- This isn't your concern. Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. No. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. We don't know that. He did Seems do that. He spoiled your every attempt at locating him. Maybe. And now it's none of my business? Yes. We don't know if he's the murderer. <laughs> oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't what the time. So sure? He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look. We know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse the only ones me for that having the up. Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And <laughs> that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Oh, sorry, Since I didn't Lily used the glamours, she'd have Venus. known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway, so... No, chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just... Can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What <laughs> concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? 
We have to find the uh, witch, mm -hmm. Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. <laughs> Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. I agree. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Oh, where should we go? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need cheer. Gosh. My cat's bugging me. Meine Katze is so niedlich. In Gemein. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I want to go to Dee's office, Crane's apartment. Because, I mean, of course we gotta find Crane. Holly might have the information to find Crane. But then there's D, and D is just, I don't freaking know. <sighs> Fudge! Okay, um. Crap. I feel like I'm gonna pick the wrong answer. Um. Man, so if I go to Dee's office, this is a hard decision. You know what? I don't think he killed her. So we're gonna go to Dee's office. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Dee and Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't. <laughs> Oh gosh! You see, it's like it's decisions like those that get me all like nervous and worked up. Who be this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi, Sheriff Bigby. What does this say? Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Did you make an appointment? Because I can let you in if you want to wait. I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? <laughs> no, it's they like don't really know. keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. What, what do they Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. But I like it here. Gotta stay busy, you know? Otherwise... Where's their office? Oh, right there. Sorry, this way. I, interrupt. <laughs> I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Thanks. Sure. Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. <laughs> it was like, yeah, that's a little reassuring. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Well, you know who they're talking about. What's that about? Talking about you. They do have their quirks. <sighs> Dead. 
Talking about you. Don't touch. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. Oh, okay. Let's get ourselves a dog. You know <sighs> I hate dogs. They're probably talking. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. Really? And they really care about helping people. Really? They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be in their line of work. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. Hmm? The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Interesting. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. That's a... Uh... That's a given. <laughs> you know about this? Uh, no. Hmm, I got a key. What do you have to say? Oh, it's probably goes to this. I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. All right. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. What beauty? I'm gonna be snoopy. This is worse than I thought. What? Wow. Shit. I'm like, they're everyone's. Who's Brannigan? Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Oh, what's going on? You're okay. My dog's just got noisy. Anyways, I didn't even get to look at that. Who's this? Donkey skin. What? They had a file for face? Crane hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. Hmm. See, what? I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. What you? Th they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. What do you shut your mouth? Enough. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. <laughs> now, please, just let me concentrate here. That's like a crane. crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. Who? Who's the crooked man? Pay this all back. Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. W what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. Is that what you think? Oh, well, he kind of has a point. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're somehow involved in the murders, Flycatcher. Two fables are dead. Bigby, what happened to your... Oh, oh, great. You, you opened your what stitches. This is? this is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. Look, Flycatcher, I, I know you like nice. them, but... 
They're a part of whatever is happening here. They're bad guys. I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that key you found should work. <laughs> Let's just go with it. Just go. Should he be there? Do you want to send him off? Oh, and guess what? We're pausing. <laughs> uh, before it gets any further. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I don't know where that music was. Alright, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I have to end it here. I must. Yes. I must. Start the next one, though, but you get to wait. Yeah, make sure. Alright, but y'all have a great day, a great evening, morning, afternoon, and I will hopefully see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.